टू व्हीलर सेल्स स्पेशली द बिग हिटर्स सॉ सम मोमेंट इन द टॉप टेन सेल्स लिस्ट इन कीपिंग विद करंट ट्रेंड्स हीरो स्प्लेंडर लीड्स फ्रॉम द फ्रंट सेल्स आर रिपोर्टेड एट टू लैख एटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सेवन यूनिट्स अप फ्रॉम टू लैख फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थ्री यूनिट्स ईयर ऑन ईयर वॉल्यूम अगेन स्टूड एट फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड Among the top sellers, Splendor Sales accounts for over 26% market share. Honda Activa sales continued to be the indomitable spirit of scooters. Sales stopped out at 2,21,143 units, up from 2,4,659 units. Volume again stood at almost 16,500 units at 8.05% growth. In the top order. Activa sales accounts for just over 20% of total sales. Honda takes the next spot on the chart with its CB Shine motorcycle. Sales however did decline at 7.53% down at 1,20,139 units from 1,29,926 units at 9,787 units loss. Bajaj Platina sales were just shy of lakh units. Sales was steady at 99,987 units at a marked growth of 76.61%. Sales is up from 56,615 units at volume gain of 23,372 units. In fact, Bajaj Pulsar series sales too improved noticeably at almost 47% growth. Sales is up at 97,135 units. from 66107 units volume gain crossed the 31000 unit mark hero hf delex sales decline was steep at 37% sales are down to 72224 units down from 114575 units volume gain declined at 42351 units tvs gets into the top sellers list with its jupiter scooter its highest selling product last month sales stopped out at just over 70000 units up from 45000 units volume gain stood at 24450 units up at 53.59% tvs apache series follows next at a total volume of 40520 units while this isn't a large volume it's enough to make it to the top selling list Sales is up from 16,423 units, volume gain over 24,000 units. Given the low base number, growth is reported at 146.73 percent. Suzuki, still a fairly small seller in India, has had a great few months steadying and improving sales, and its excess scooter finds itself in the top 10 two-wheeler sales list often. Sales last month were, however, on a decline down at 40375 units down from 49135 units volume declined to at 8760 units at 17.83% decline tvs excel mopped which at one time was the manufacturer's largest seller by volume has seen a consistent decline in sales volume in recent months Sales last month was down to 36,489 units from 52,607 units. Volume declined to that 16,118 units at 30.64% decline. Total sales for the top 10 two-wheelers is reported at 1,084,094 units. Cumulative wholesale improved by about 11%. up from 900,077375 units let's check out the total sale of the bullet after many months of leaked images and teasers royal enfield finally launched the new hunter 315 in india last month it is presented in three variants of retro factory metro dapper and metro rebel retro factory trim is priced at rupees 1,49,900 while metro dapper and metro rebel are priced at rupees 1.63 lakh and 1.68 lakh launch took place on 7th august meaning it did not have a full month in sales 
despite that Hunter 350 has become the second best selling Royal Enfield in August 2022. Classic 350 continues to remain the number one RE in August 2022. Royal Enfield has sold 18,197 units of the new Hunter 350 in August this year. This was in the domestic market. Exports too have started as 78 units of the Hunter were exported last month. In comparison, Royal Enfield's top-selling Classic 350 registered sales of 18,993 units in the domestic market. Together, the two REs Classic and Hunter have registered domestic sales of 37,190 units. Classic is just ahead of Hunter by a margin of 796 units in August 2022. In all, RE sold 70,112 units last month, registering a growth of almost 53%. Royal Enfield Hunter 350 is an urban scrambler that is positioned on RE's J-series platform. It rides on a shorter wheelbase and gets 17-inch alloy wheels, fitted with 100 by 80 rubber at front and 120 by 80 at its rear. In terms of design, the new Hunter 350 Retro gets a halogen tail lamp, oval shaped turn signals, signal channel ABS with disc brake in the front. Hunter Metro trim gets dual tone color schemes, it sports round shaped turn indicators, wide and long one piece seat, LED tail lamps, an instrument cluster borrowed from the Meteor 350 with triple screen and Bluetooth with smartphone connectivity and dual channel ABS. It gets 300mm and 270mm disc brakes at the front and rear respectively and alloy wheels in a black color scheme. Royal Enfield has launched genuine motorcycle accessories in suburban and urban range offering LED indicators, tail to the bar and mirrors etc. Both the variants get a 150mm ground clearance and 800mm seat height while Hunter 350 retro weights 177kg and is lighter as compared to the Metro variant which weighs 181kg. Hunter 350 is available in 7 more color options of Rebel Blue, Rebel Red, Rebel Black, Dapper Grey, Dapper Ash and Factory Silver. RE Hunter 350 is powered by a 349cc air oil cooled single cylinder J series engine that also powers the Meteor and Classic 350. This engine offers 20.2 HP power at 6100 rpm and 27 Nm of torque at 4000 rpm mated to a 5 speed gearbox. Top speed is at 114 km per hour while fuel efficiency is pegged at 36.2 km. Even as the new Hunter comes in with a host of new age features, customers can also customize their bike for a more personalized appeal via the Royal Enfield app.